there's a lot of Smash tutorials out there which teach you things and um, the most popular, however, is definitely ones that teach you how to be competitive. You know, competitive strategies with certain characters and whatnot. Something that I'm relatively new to. But Rush Hour Smash recently gave out a video which is called Smash Theory the Neutral. Now, when I heard about this, I thought it would be covering neutral as in like neutral jabs or neutral ear moves, but it's something else totally. It's an amazing video which manages to break down one of the core mechanics of competitive Smash play, and it's something that all you guys definitely need to check out. I want to check out a little bit of the video here, but I want to make sure that you guys go and check out the original too. So we're going to watch through like around half of it, and you guys go and check out the rest in the link in the description because the shit is crazy. But let's take a look at exactly what the neutral is describing. It's a short video too, only two minutes and something seconds. The neutral. The positioning in which both players have approximate even stage control, vying to convert their advantages into an edge guard. Hmm. At top level play, the neutral game is an exchange of high level baits where the slightest micro movement or overextension can lead to the loss in neutral. Just from a missed or in up some smash. Cases, the stop. When Beautiful. one decides to commit Beautiful. to an approach, they have either recognized an opening in the opposition's defense, or they have been baited. The way the shield functions is what makes the neutral position neutral. When one player loses access to their shield abilities, or the ability to retaliate from shield, advantages start to occur. There we go. In a game like Smash, applying pressure is vital. Landing pokes on shields that cannot be punished is considered an advantage. Any way the opponent attempts to attack or defend begins and ends with considering the shield. What makes the game mentally intensive is that because grabbing fundamentally beats shields, it creates a complicated rock, paper, scissors dynamic. Look at that curveball. By nature, shielding is trumped by grabbing, while grabbing is beaten by attacking, and attacking is beaten by shielding. One should always approach in anticipation to an opponent's zoning options. This is the nature of making reads. Remember the hmm. fundamental rule about always considering so that was the video thus far and I know some of you guys I know some of you guys must be blown away by it now this isn't exactly new information so this is kind of gonna be somewhat of a oh really this but I mean for a lot of people who aren't competitive like myself this was a very insightful video and the rest of it details some really interesting stuff as well too but the whole rock paper scissors comparison really interesting to see that you know grabbing I mean we all know this but grabbing beats shielding shielding beats attacking and attacking beats grabbing crazy stuff there so I mean I never really looked at the game that way, and this video helps to change the way that you perceive the game. Now, maybe it doesn't really teach you that much stuff in terms of approaching, like with a specific character or whatnot, but it teaches you the fundamentals behind what the neutral game is. And that's always the stage where it's going to be both players kind of feeling each other out, giving bait, trying to see who's going to make the first mistake. And if you are truly a competitive player, then you'll be able to take advantage entirely of somebody missing something like an up smash, or going for a grab and totally whiffing it. Uh, this tutorial is going to be insane. Rush Hour Smash, um, they haven't really uploaded too many videos like this, but the editing is superb, the message is there, and the fundamentals that it teaches are golden. So, I mean, this is looking like it's going to be a great series. It's called Smash Theory Lesson 1, The Neutral. And if this is Lesson 1, then I can't wait for the others to come out. Um, Rush Hour Smash has released a lot of videos thus far, but none of them have been a follow-up to the lesson that was te taught in the um, Smash Theory video, but we'll definitely hopefully be seeing more videos like this from this guy. The editing looks like it took a while, but either way, it's appreciated. Thank you for these awesome tutorials. Guys, definitely check out the video in the description. Show us some really interesting stuff, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.